Hi there, today what I want to do is show you guys how to use the FOIL method. The FOIL method is a way to change from factored form to standard form. It's used in other ways too, but today we're going to do that. So to start with, FOIL means, F means first, O means outside, I means inside, and L means last. So what does that mean for us? What we're going to do is change this form into factored form by multiplying our two terms that are inside of parentheses. So let's do it. So <clears throat> I'm going to ignore this negative 10 for a little bit. I'm just going to focus on x minus 6. and x plus 10. So I'm going to multiply my first variables first, or my first terms first. So that means x times x gives me x squared. Now I'm going to do my outside, my outside, so x times 10 gives me 10x, and it's a positive. I'm going to do my inside next, my inside, so that's negative 6 and x. Remember, it always maintains its sign. Its sign always sits in front of it, so it's a negative 6 times x, which gives me negative 6x. And lastly, I'm going to multiply my outside, or my last. My last is 6 times 10. The last one, each one of those parentheses. Negative 6 times 10 is negative oops, 60. I'm going to combine all my like terms. So there's nothing else that has a square in it, so it's just going to be x squared. 10x and negative 6x are like terms. Typically, when you use this method, the two middle terms are going to combine somehow. 10 minus 6 is 4, so it's positive 4x. Because my 10 is bigger than my 6, it's going to be positive. And then minus 60. And now we have to go back and deal with that negative 10 that was sitting out there. So I'm going to stick this all in parentheses. I'm going to put the negative 10 out in front. So the last thing I want to do is just distribute that negative 10 to everything on the inside. So to do that, it's going to be negative 10 times x squared. So that gives me negative 10 x squared. I'm going to take that negative 10 times 4x. That gives me negative 40x. And now I'm going to take that negative 10 times negative 60. Negative 10 times negative 60. A negative times a negative is a positive. 10 times 60 is 600. Put my y equals in front. And there is my standard form. <clears throat> so up here you can see the... Erase these. Here's my factored form. Negative 10. x minus 6. x plus 10. My standard form is negative 10x squared minus 40x plus 600.